Hey guys, so this is what we did in class today. We worked on our tones, which are played with this part of the hand right here. And to do that, I put the knuckles right on the outside edge of the drum. And that means that this will play and the little bit of this will play. 80% here, 20% here, no percent from the fingertips gives you a tone. You see, there is a slant up. <clears throat> Some people play with the, the little finger uh, almost connected to the... There is space between all the fingers. Some people play, the old people play like that for the tone. Either way is okay. I find this to be a little bit like European dainty, but... Um, I'd rather play my tones just like that. And it gives you a brut do 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 sound. Brut do 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 do. It doesn't have a high sound. Then this is slap at the end. All right. And then the other break we learned was. Um, Do, 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 do. Together, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So, you wouldn't play it three times in a row. I'm just doing that for the video so you can see it in slow motion. Was really bad. Let me do that again. All right. And then the slap sound is played this way. So when you end, you bring your hand up this high. When you bring your hand down, is that you can drive a truck through here. It, it's not the fingers don't go like this. And the fingers don't go off the side of the drum. They stay in the same 90 degree motion, 90 degree angle that they were in before. So my tones, if I want to play slaps, I drop my wrists, I bring the fingers up, I bring my hand up, and I'm going to bring it down right here on the metacarpal heads, but without hurting myself. So I've learned how to play lightly. I touch the tip tips of the finger, the undersides of the fingertips here, and come back up. And then on the left hand, it looks like this. No force, just dropping. pitch bell sound. So if I play some tones and some slaps, it sounds like this. For bass, elbow down, hand parallel to the head, not in the center, a little off center to your right. A little off center to your left. At the moment of hit, you go flat, and then when you bring it up a little bit, you can let your fingers relax. You don't want to do this. Because I'm going, see how I'm at an angle here? You never do that. Always stay at the angle of the head. If you bring it up really high, you're still at that angle and you're just dropping the whole hand out. When we're playing a rhythm, if we're playing Linjin, which is the one we've been working on, we play... I use that sixth break. What I mean by the sixth break is rhythm is in six. So Linjin is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
together, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm going to start lunging, I go... down a split second before the left and gives me a beautiful bell sound that I'm looking for a high pitch. All right. If I'm going into the second part of Lingen where the dance goes double time or fast, um, we play these bases hardly even touch. They don't go These are the sounds of carry. These, you won't even hear them.